What do you want to direct more effectively? The character. Yeah, but that's your mistake to redirect your character onto awareness. You can't. Your awareness consciousness, I call it, the big consciousness, um, is um, experiencing that character. The character can't turn around and look at the big consciousness. The character is being looked at. The character has something called personal awareness, which is functioning of the body. So the personal awareness is where you can put your attention on a sound happening outside. You can put the attention on the tip of my nose. You can put the attention, you can put the attention on your big toe. You can put your attention on your elbows. So you can do all of that. Um, but all of that is being experienced by something. There is something that knows that movement of attention. That is like moving the camera. So let me just get my phone. So in my phone, I have a camera. Now I can connect my camera to my editing suite here that I've got for live stream. So I can have two cameras. So I could be filming Khaleesi outside and every time I wanted to have a squeaking cute fit, like deek, 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 I could go to Khaleesi and I could sing her a song and we could watch Khaleesi being sung to or whatever it is. So I could use my, my, my phone like wirelessly to sit outside and film my dog. So just out there. Um, I could uh, film her and have it set up and I could see her out there. So this camera, so you can see here, this camera can um, film things, but it can't see. My camera cannot, this phone cannot be conscious of what's happening. So the, the phone can record the information. It can be a live portal that um, sits outside and films my dog, but the, the camera isn't conscious. This, this isn't conscious. So it can't experience filming my dog. It needs us to look at it with our consciousness in order to experience that film that's being taken. And the question is by like a, I think really famous Zen quote is, if a, a tree front feel, falls in the forest and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? So that's a koan. And, and, and that's, so that's, so if we don't look at the phone and we don't look at the picture, is it actually happening? And we can never determine that. We can just go by what our experience is and, and, and what our experience is, no, it's not happening, but we can't be sure about that because it's only conceptual and we, we can also begin to see that concepts are only concepts and they don't actually lead us anywhere just to more concepts. But, um, but we can use them to pick what we already believe. So we need something to look at this camera. Now this camera, we could say has, we could, we could use it as a metaphor, as a human, and we can move it and that's like moving personal awareness. So we can film this side of the room, we can film this side of the room, we can film up there and we, we can see different things. And we can say that's what personal awareness is, the ability to focus the lens up there, down there, on your big toe, on your heart beating, on the smell that's happening. Oops, I just gave something away. <laughs> um, you can you can focus your personal awareness just like we can move the camera alone then we can focus it we can pull it in and, and most people think that personal awareness can turn around and look at the big consciousness but it can't it's always being experienced so a lot of people practice putting their attention in awareness and putting their attention in I am and I recommend it I think it's super helpful but just know that you can never see consciousness. Consciousness is always looking at you. It's like the phone cannot see it, see who's looking at the phone. So this phone is now like looking at the room over there. So you can see that. So it's looking at that room over there. So it's got focus. Now we're looking at it and we're giving it consciousness by looking at it. So we're seeing what's happening through the phone. So the person thinks that it can turn that phone round, so it can turn its, conscious, its personal awareness round and its head round and look back at the looker, but it's never true. It's actually an illusion. Consciousness will always be looking at the movement of personal awareness and the movement of the body-mind mechanism, the thoughts in the body-mind mechanism. It's the silent witness that never moves and is always there in everything. And it cannot be seen, it sees. So you can actually never get to personal awareness.